Hi guys, welcome to Delare Studios. We will be talking about notifications in Android. What about we will be focusing on two major aspects of notification, uh, an open activity notification, i.e. a notification that uh, opens back its launched uh, activity. And the second one is the custom big notification. What about we will be using the big content view and uh, we will be displaying a music control widget to actually uh, create a notification from probably a music uh, player or just a mere uh, example notification. Now we're going to be using the notification compact builder from the Android support version 4 and uh, we're actually going to be added straight to Android Studio where I have the structure of an application and uh, I'll be incorporating notification that's the two forms I mentioned uh, into this particular uh, template I have. I'll first of all go to the build gradle. In the build gradle you need to include the Android support version 4 because it's uh, the notification library which is the compact notification is uh, included in the Android support version 4 and uh, we have some deprecated attributes of notification which we will be looking at and uh, we'll be uh, fixing it using the uh, new APIs available. And I will actually be creating a REST file. We have an activity main, which is the layout. And uh, this is actually going to be the entry point to the application. And I will actually uh, create its uh, XML file. Let's have this as a scroll view. Just follow along with me. It's a simple layout. That's fine. Uh, let's, let's maintain the... Now I'm going to take away this text view, just brings in a, nil, a linear layout. How about we have it as layout with the night, our match parent. And let's have an orientation. That's fine. So we're going to have two buttons. The first button uh, it's actually going to be let's lay out with a selfie parent that's deprecated. Uh, let's maintain match parent then on the layout type to wrap content and uh, let's just send an ID. Let's call that our button notification. Activity. Far long, but it actually makes sense. And uh, we're going to write have a text which will be pointing at the string. Let's call it open activity. So I'll be going straight to the values, the strings XML. Put activity. Let's call it open activity. That's fine. Uh, we're also going to have for the second one, and uh, maybe I will incorporate that. So let me just have that done. That's actually going to be for the big content. That's fine. So back to the activity main. And uh, let's have the second button which will be for the big content. Sign an ID. Let's call it big content.
profit. Now we have that set, so I'll be adding straight to the Java class. However, we we'll integrate the first right there in the main activity, which uh, we're actually going to with extend activity and call the activity main. Now let's uh, create the field for the buttons. The first button will be for the open activity. Let's call it open activity btn. And uh, the second is going to be open big content content is that the set now we're going to initialize right then the on create we have the open activity which will be button Find Viva ID, our ID, and the second one open the content button. The content. Now let's set a uh, no click listener to to this. Let's do for the first, which is the open activity. Set no click listener. Just shade the no click listener. That's cool. Now uh, we're going to point out the notification. We're still going to create a, a class called notification generator which is actually going to call on open activity notification method We're going to get application context Perfect. So let's create the notification generator. Cool. Now there's a there's a notification generator class, and uh, we're going to have the method right inside here, which is the public. Static void upon activity notification, which takes context. Now we call the compact version 4 user, give it an object of NC, let's just shade notification builder. Sorry, that should be compact builder class context parameter. Now let's call the manager. And then we cast the notification manager class 
to the context. Get system service. Call the context. Notification service. Now you create an intent for the activity. Intent. Notify. Intent. Let's just show you the new intent. Back to the context. Not category. Should I get to be the object? Now calling the main activity dot class. Let's import the intent. Now let's set the activity to start in a new empty task. So we're going to call the notify intent set flags. Call the intent flag activity clear text. Should be clear. Flag activity click tax. Or sent flag activity new tax. Sorry for this extra colibris. Now let's create the pending intent. Get activity. Context. By intent. Now this time it's going to be flag updates the current. Now let's call the object NC to set content intent to the pending intent. So that is actually going to make uh, the click points back to you know, the current. Uh, calling intent. So let's just build the structure of the notification. Set small icon. Drivable. Or let's call make map. Let's just call the default logo. Just IC launcher. And see a set Auto cancel to true, so you can easily cancel out. True, boolean true. Let's set the content title. These are all attributes that builds up the notification. Let's give that notification demo. And let's set content text. Let's say click list. And uh, where else can we set? I think that should be fine. And let's give the notify. I'll call the notification. ID open activity and we'll build up. 
Now let's give the open activity, notification ID open activity. Uh, let's give it an ID over here. It's going to be private, static, final, it's notification. Let's just set it to um, nine. Open activity, let nine. That's fine. So this is just how to create the structure back to the uh, main activity. Uh, which will actually trigger the notification generator to open up the activity notification. And uh, we have the notification generator itself, this is the engine. Uh, this is where we call the builder from the Android support version 4. And uh, we create, we, call, we also call the notification manager. And uh, we actually instantiate an intent uh, to the main activity and we'll set the flags. No, to the flag acti activity clear tax or the flag activity new tax and uh, we also get the activity uh, context and we add the pending intent you know at first you know this is just a kind of uh, second use of intent you know when uh, in a, an intent is called immediately after there's a broadcast or probably uh, a push to the application so it's just, just like a copy of an application sitting right there on top. So we're going to set the small icon to the IC launcher, auto cancel through, set a content type to, and also a content text. Now look at the way we build up the notification. And I'll actually be showing this uh, in an emulator so that you, have, you see how, to, how these look and, uh, and uh, you can easily integrate this in your application, probably a GCMA application about you are doing a push notification or a movie application that actually notifies the user of the latest movie and uh, you can able to use it in a music uh, application or by you can use the notification to control uh, the flow of the music so I'll actually be showing you this don't go anywhere here we go with the application the notification uh, that opens activity and the notification that launch big content. We've not uh, integrated the big content, so we'll test for the first. Let's open the activity. Can you see the notification icon? Just because I use the, uh, the default Android icon, that's why it's showing uh, it's kind of uh, vector or let's say the big map. Now let me drag down, which is the notification corner. I have the notification demo and I also have the click please. So I'll do something of this nature. Let me go to the home screen so that we we'll know that we are actually not in the activity. Uh, now, a pull of the notification. This is actually Lollipop. Uh, a click on notification demo launches back the activity. Can you see that? And the notification disappears. So, this is just how to integrate a notification that calls uh, the activity to open you know, and it eventually disappears after that action. So I'll actually be uploading the source code to my GitHub. It's quite simple. And I'll be showing you the next part, which is the big launcher. Let's see how to create a music widget, which you can easily incorporate to your video application, music application, and uh, that's fine. So this is just all for now. Uh, catch me up in the next tutorial. Don't go anywhere.